Well, 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 greetings and welcome back, gentles and ladies, men, to episode 14 of Let's Play Exoplay's Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest for the Game Boy Advance. So in this episode, we're going to be doing some quick cleanup, because we have already defeated Captain K. Rule and rescued Donkey Kong. Uh, but there's still a few more things that we need to, need to grab, a few more things that we need to see. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is play the final stage in the game, uh, in the Lost World. And this stage is often considered to be pretty challenging, but it's not too bad in my opinion. Stop right there, ye scubby swabs! Step on me toll bridge and I'll throw ye overboard! Step this way, friends! I've polished the bridge just for ye! Alright, so we have a couple things that we still need to do here. Let's see, so we have animal antics first of all. This is the final stage in the game, often considered the hardest level in Donkey Kong Country 2. Uh, personally, I think Clobber Carnage is harder, but I don't know. I'm sure a lot of people disagree with that. Uh, but, so the gimmick of this stage, obviously, as you can surmise from the title, is that we are going to be playing it. Oh, come, fuck you, game. I was on top of that, Neek. Uh, the gimmick of this stage is obviously we're going to be playing as all of our animal buddies, uh, including Rambi, Squawks, a uh, squitter, Bradley, and if there's another one, probably another one I forgot. But point is, we're playing as all our animal friends, uh, back to back in one stage, which is which is a fun idea for for a final level, I think. Uh, especially because we've kind of already seen everything in terms of stage hazards and what they can put in. Uh, over here, we have some hidden goodies, including our O, and we might have to go farm some banana coins so that we can afford our. Oh, there's another thing I have to show off. Good thing I... I guess it's good that I decided to do an, another separate part instead of cramming this all into the finale after all. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Yeah, that was close. Oof. Uh, the, those needles kind of blend in with the background. I'm not, a, I'm not a huge fan of that. I'm sure they pop a little bit more in the original. Alright, so we're almost at the end of Unguard's section. Like, I know, most of this level is pretty easy, if you ask me. Uh, it's just kind of the last chunk that's particularly difficult. And uh, the GBA version of this level, fun fact, is actually a bit easier than the original. And you, those of you who have played the original stage will already have noticed that the midpoint barrel is not here, not where it's supposed to be. In the original version of the game, they put the midpoint barrel at the start of Squitter's section of the stage. Uh, but in the remake, they stuck it out a bit farther, uh, so that you could continue from the hardest part of the stage. Which is a nice uh, addition, because nobody wants to have to waste their time replaying the Squitter section when the part you're actually dying on is the part that comes after this. Uh, but I digress. Actually, for once, I'm not digressing. I'm talking about something that's, you know, actually happening on screen right now. I'll hop up over this way. So, as you can see, there's a pathway up there, uh, which is much less obvious than the original, by the way. Uh, leading to our final bonus room in the game, uh, with one of our final DK coins in the game. Okay, right, so... It's another, it's another get revenge on the zingers section, which is always fine by me. Yeah, let's see. And looks like we're gonna be playing as Squawks as well. But by the end of this area, it's gonna be changing us back into Squitter anyway, so I don't know what the point was. Might as well have just kept it as Squitter the whole time, but, you know, whatever. So that's, that's the final DK coin that we can find in the stages themselves. Now we're going to head up to the, what is commonly considered the most difficult part of the stage. Uh, that being, uh, the Squawks section. I guess there is a chunk where you still have to play as, uh, Squitter before you get to Squawks. I guess they didn't want to make it too easy. Uh, there's another change coming up later in the stage, which, uh, fans of the original will most likely notice. Uh, but, so, obviously, you can tell the, what the gimmick of this section is. Uh, we are playing as Squawks in the Bramble, in another Bramble section. Uh, but this time, there is wind that will push you, or pull you, uh, depending on which way it's, it's pointing. So, uh, don't be like me and take it slow. And 
don't rush your way through this or you will have some trouble. And I know that there's a scrapbook photo somewhere in this ma ramble maze, so uh, we gotta be on the lookout for that. Right, sorry about that, folks. Just had to check in on something. And I fucking died. But thankfully, because we are playing the Game Boy Advance version of this title, we do not have to replay the entire stage. Or rather, we do not have to replay S Squitter's Chunk all over again from the beginning. Uh, but at this rate, if I can't stop being super incompetent at this, uh, we might be here forever, which would be bad. Uh, let's see. What else do we got left? Alright, here's our squawks barrel, and I'm pretty sure that there's a DK barrel around here somewhere so that we can get an extra hit point in. I mean, this, 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 this section isn't super hard if you're, like, paying attention. It's just, it, it's, it can be a bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie, especially if you're playing with input lag. Uh, which, thankfully, I am not, because I'm playing on the DS capture device. Which has no input lag, zero latency, bitches. Let's see, I'm pretty sure that there's a DK barrel at the end of this section right here. Just gotta make sure we don't get pushed into the brambles here. Okay. And we got that one photo, and I'm pretty sure we get another photo for uh, beating the last S Espresso race, which we will be doing directly after this. And then you get the final photo in the game uh, from Wrinkly herself, uh, at once you get 39 of the 40 photos. So we should be pretty much done with our scrapbook as well. Uh, no, I don't know, I'll, I'll make sure to buy the uh, last couple of uh, entries there. Just because. Okay, um, let's see. There's a hidden triple lives balloon up there. Uh, I'm not sure how anyone's supposed to find that, but as you can see, uh, fans of the original game will have noticed that the last couple of zingers were changed from red to yellow, uh, which makes it much easier because those zingers were the hard part of the, sta of the stage. Uh, those those red zingers were a real pain in the butt in the original, so it's probably a good thing that they took them out. All right, uh, hop up over here, and yeah, if I have to redo this section again, I'm gonna be kind of angry. So let's let's do it right the first time, folks. Ah, oh, shit. Well. Looks like we get to do the s squawks part again, which isn't too bad. It's not like it goes on for 50 years or anything. Like, I'd, I'd rather play this level than any of the fucking uh, Retro Studios temple levels. Like, compare this to Bopopolis in Tropical Freeze, which is one of the worst Donkey Kong levels I've ever played. Uh, it's not as bad as Stampede Sprint because that level could fucking die in a fire, but uh, it's, it's still really... Actually, I might have more trouble with... I don't know, like, the problem with Stampede Sprint is that it's just a dumb gimmick. It is based around you not having any input lag, so if you do have input lag, it becomes harder. Uh, which is, you know, never fair when, you're, when your path to success depends on whether or not your gaming setup has input lag or not. Uh, but beyond that, it's just a stupid idea for a level in general. A uh, problem with Bopopolis is that it's it's the underlying gimmick is not as stupid, but it is really annoying. And once again, if you have any input lag, like, which is very likely if you're playing on a digital display, which is the only thing you really should be playing Tropical Freeze on, uh, then it just got a whole lot more annoying because the entire level is based on you timing button presses off of enemies with split second pixel perfect reaction time. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do, folks. I'm gonna stop commentating and focusing on this, uh, because I need to wrap this up. So, we'll cut back to when we're done with the squawk section. Alright, and we are back, so hopefully this time we can clear the stage, because it took me like five tries to get back over here again. Alright. Thank God for those bananas, by the way. 
I wonder if those are in the original or if they added those. Ugh, it's a rattly section, man. Alright, this is it. Oh, thank fucking god, we made it. And we didn't get our... Ah, whatever. We got our golden feather, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, I was at the other end of the level. So I guess in the original, that other section at the uh, to the far left of here uh, was for was just for boat for banana coins. And maybe they had a extra life. But yeah, that's it, folks. We are done. We are done with every level in this game. We have found every collectible in it. Uh, so all that's left, I think, is to go. Yeah. So I think we should be able to go. Yeah. All right. So next thing we need to do is our final espresso race in the game. Have you been to see the other members of the Kong family? They're not as useful as me, of course, but they might be able to help. Alright, so... After the slope with the letter N, press right as you fall and you'll have a ball. So I guess that's a pretty good hint. Down may be out, but right picks you up. The bananas point the way. Not enough? Well, get lost then. That's a waste of... Oh, we don't have enough. Uh, so let's power up real quick. Last two. Uh, so now we have maxed out stats. So let's show those birds who's boss. Final espresso race, everyone. Uh, only the best of the best can beat this one. Uh, more than likely, it's probably easy like all the other ones. Now we have spikes. Uh, and now we have to restart because they're probably going to beat me. Let's try this again. Alright. And they stole my thing. Oh, come on. I made it across that. Let's hopefully I can get more of them to fall off. That's real fair. How is it that that guy jumped farther than me when he probably has less equal or lesser stats? Alright, come on, red guy. Jesus, these guys are relentless. Oh, come on, I got to use that and... Oh, good, one of them fell off. Ugh, come on with that shit. I swear I passed right through that feather. Which is just, which is always fair, right? What, what's what's the good of having the ability to hold 10 of each power-up when you can never get that many? Alright. Alright, that time I got it. I don't know what I did differently this time. Alright, we managed to make it across. Uh, if we could stay in the center and avoid falling off. Alright, we did it! We finished the every single espresso race in this game, ladies and gentlemen. We are done with espresso racing. First place, well done. You've won all the races. Here, take this hero coin. It's my last one. I would have done it much quicker though, and without using espresso. <laughs> Here, take this picture of your champion racing bird. Alright, so then with that, we have 39 out of 40 of those. So all that's left is to go talk to Wrinkly Kong and we can get our remaining scrapbook photos. And we'll we'll take a peek at our scrapbook after we have the completed one, because uh, you get the last picture for talking to Wrinkly again at the end here, so... Uh, so I say... That's a fast way to get some coins. I don't know, we'll play the first level. It's, it's usually a pretty good one to, to go with. Alright, so, uh, in my quest to retrieve more banana coins so that we can do things, thought I'd show this off. Oh, for God's sake, are you serious? Alright, we're gonna have to come back. And I might end up rescinding my promise to buy all this, the hints, because at this point, does it really even matter? Because at this point I'm just farming coins so that I can, you know, show off certain things, but it's just like, who... We've already gotten everything, so I think I might just skip out on that, but I should at least show off uh, what happens when you go back to fight bosses again. 
and all I can seem to get is lives. All right, so now we have returned with 10 banana coins. So uh, here we have a little game we can play. Uh, it's basically what you have to do is... It's a, it's a Swanky Kong thing. If you go back to a boss that you've previously beaten, uh, you can, for some reason, you have to pay money to do this, like, a lot. Like, I had to farm to get, to get it that much at this point, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. And basically, you fight the boss again, and if you win, uh, you get special prizes. And hopefully that means more uh, bonus coins, and hopefully more than, or, uh, I'm sorry, banana coins. But, you know, who knows, uh, but, like, honestly, I don't really go back to fight the bosses a lot. And it is, I guess, kind of annoying that you have to pay, but at least they kind of make up for that by giving you prizes for when you do. And it also means that if you lose, you have to pay that same amount again to try again, so it's, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, you get lives, which are worthless. So, yeah, don't bother. Let's go chat up with Wrinkly and get our last DK coin. Uh, or I'm sorry, finish off our scrapbook, then we'll go fight uh, the secret final boss and whatnot. Hurry along, school is nearly finished. You need to study a little more if you're gonna beat the Kremlings. Ugh, okay, check homework. Well done, children. You have filled 14 pages. Here's your reward. Excellent! You are straight-A students. You have filled nearly every page. Here, take this photo of me to complete your collection. You've done all the homework assignments. Don't be a stranger now. And that's it, folks. We have completed our scrapbook, and we have gotten nearly every DK coin in this game. We just need one more to finish her off, and we'll have all of them. So, but before we go fight, uh, go check out the f real final boss, here we have our new scrapbook for Donkey Kong Country 2 on Game Boy Advance. And as you can see, we have lovely renders of all of our favorite enemies here, uh, complete with names inserted into them. And, it, like, literally, you can find the same artwork online, and it looks like they just scaled it down for Game Boy Advance screen size. But, you know, it's still, it's still a neat little thing, neat little mechanic. It's kind of a shame that this didn't come back for the third game, but, you know, not to get too far ahead of ourselves here. And, you know, as always, it's always nice to have something like this in games, and, you know, it's it's a fun side quest, and I'm glad that uh, they, they brought it back for this game, because, you know, enemies' designs in this game are really cool. It's nice to be able to kind of look at those, and that artwork you can definitely find in Google Image Search. You have Wrinkly and Cranky. Swanky and Funky, and, uh, you know, as you might be able to guess, you get many of these pictures from uh, the respective Kong for completing their minigames and whatnot. Donkey Kong, you get that for rescuing him. Uh, Radley, I'm not sure where you get that from. Uh, 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 I don't know. Espresso, we got that from completing his minigames. Glimmer is probably in Glimmer's Galleon somewhere. Uh, Clapper and Squitter. Squitter looks really creepy up close. So be thankful that his sprite makes him harder to make out. Alright, so let's find the path of least resistance to... Uh, Lost World. Uh, we'll go with this one. Involve... Actually, the path of least resistance would have been up at, uh, K. Rill's Keep, but whatever. We're already almost there, anyway. Alright. So all that's left is the final, super secret final boss battle with Captain K. Brule. As you might have noticed, he said to find him in the Lost World for the real final boss. And here we are at Crocodile Core. Let's finish this. <laughs> I always thought that was cute. But anyway, um, Captain K. Rule here. Uh, we've only got one hit left on him. We had nine hits in the previous fight, and now we just have to get this last tenth hit on him. Uh, but 
unlike his previous fight, he's playing a bit smarter this time around, not giving us uh, the regular cannonball that we need to defeat him. Uh, so we're going to be dodging his attacks for quite a while, which is which is a fun final boss and a little bit different. And as you can see, he's brought back his ice attack. And basically what that what that does is it sort of demos what you can expect from the next phase of the boss. Like here we can see he'll shoot one and then he'll shoot another faster. And for every consecutive wave, he'll shoot more of the fast moving ones. So this time we're going to have three rushing past this one so we can jump over them all at once. Now we have diagonal formations that we've got to jump over. And in this next phase, he'll, we'll have to duck underneath that last one and jump over that one. And that's it. That's the end of the boss. <laughs> And it's, it's always a pleasure seeing K. Real fall into the, the core of the island like this. I can't believe my eyes! Once again you've beaten that lizard face freak. DK is back with us and the world is safe once again. <laughs> I just love this visual of DK or Diddy Kong cartwheeling continuously. And I'll get you yet, you stupid monkeys! Next time, there will be no stopping me. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen, dude. Bombs away. And yeah, they did change this final cutscene. And yeah, that's it. That's that's the that's the game. That's everything. And um, yeah. Well, I've got a second screen at about time, too. Now shut up, everyone, while I read the eagerly awaited results of my prestigious Video Game Hero Awards. I'm not afraid to admit it, Denny, my boy. Even I'm wrong occasionally. You're as big a hero as they come. You must take after me and Donkey. Well done. If you want to look at your limited progress on the screen, press the L and R buttons while you go around any of the map screens. Now buzz off and see if you can find more of my coins, which I very much doubt you will. Nice going, kid. I reckon only a true video game hero would have ever finished it all. Let's get out of this miserable dump and get back to the Donkey Kong Island. Just a PSA here, intercutting here. Um, unlike the original version of this title, you do not automatically go to that screen after you beat the final boss and see the ending. Uh, so you will have to, in order to see that little dialogue exchange there, you will have to reboot your save file and then hold the L and R buttons on the world map in order to access this, but yeah. So I, I guess I should give my final thoughts on the, the this version of the game itself real quick because, you know, pretty much my, my opinion has not changed at all since the review itself. I've, I, there are parts of this game that I prefer on the SNES, like I, as much as I do like the, the new mini games and side quest content in this version of the game, um, personally, uh, there is a part of me that prefers the quick and dirty 102% run on the Super Nintendo over having all this extra crap to do, like having to find all the golden feathers and do all the races and do all this other stuff. Uh, so, and it, it gets to be kind of Donkey Kong Country 3 levels of, all right, we've already beat the final boss, now we have to find a bunch of scrapbook photos and golden feathers that I might have missed. At least it's not like the third game where you have to get a bunch of banana birds after you've beaten the final boss and all that stuff, but, you know, still. Uh, so there is a part of me that prefers the quick and dirty experience, but there is a part of me that really enjoys a lot of the new stuff that was introduced in this version. Uh, I do think that the, uh, the stat screen is always a plus, the scrapbook side quest is always fun. Uh, I enjoy the Expresso Racing and the Funk Gyrocopter minigames, uh, but there is something about the minigames in the remake of the first game that I kind of prefer because they're simpler and shorter and, I don't know, I guess less mechanically intensive, but on the other hand, the ones in this game are more mechanically intensive and therefore more interesting. I know, it really just depends on what you prefer. 
Um, I would absolutely recommend this version to those of you who have never played it before, because I do think it is the more accessible version, because obviously they have fixed the save feature in this game, uh, so that you could just do it from the menu. You don't have to pay to save anymore, which people always complain about in the original. Um, lives are much more plentiful and save with your progress. Uh, you can save after every individual level, so like if you have trouble with stuff, you will never have to redo an entire world. Uh, there's all the other mini games I think most people will enjoy. So this is this is the version I would recommend to people who have never played it before. Uh, there are obviously some advantages to the original, like the graphics. I, you know, like as much as I uh, will always say you should play this game on the original screen it was designed for. There is, I do think that the original is prettier. Uh, the soundtrack is pretty neck and neck for me. I can't really choose one over the other. There's some that I like better in one version, some I like better in the other. I don't know. So, I know, play both of them because this it's a fantastic game either way. Highly recommended. And yeah, so we are going to do a bonus episode, but I'm probably going to record that later. Uh, so for now, uh, join me in the bonus episode where I will announce the next playthrough, but I'm sure you guys can all guess what it is, what it's going to be. Uh, given what the previous one was and what this one is. So yeah, until then, I'm Exo, and I'll see you guys next time.